boom what's up YouTube welcome back to the truck and journey I'm trucker Jim and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you the eight good work habits of truckers but before we get started let's roll that intro with me now. So you click play on this video to learn the eight good work habits of truck drivers. This is something you probably haven't seen before truck drivers, but you're going to be glad you did. But habits, do you know what a good habit is? I wasn't quite sure, so I looked it up. And the definition of a good habit is a behavior that is beneficial to one's physical or mental health, often linked to a high level of discipline and self-control. Habits can make you or break you. In this video, we're going to be talking about good habits. These are habits you want to form that's going to make a difference in your career and your life. In truth, the only difference between those who have failed and those who have succeeded lies in the difference of their habits. Good habits are the key to all success. Bad habits are the unlocked door to failure. There is an age-old debate on how long does it take to form a habit. Some people say 10 days, 14 days, 21 days, which that's what I always say. Some say 30. Who knows what the right answer is? You're welcome to put your answer in the comments. But I'll tell you guys, it takes more than one day. And the more you work, the stronger your habit is going to become. So let's get started with habit number one for good work habits for truck drivers or, or for anyone else for that matter. And habit number one is have a great attitude. Everything starts with your attitude and your attitude towards your chosen tasks that you're performing for the day. If you go into it with a great attitude, your experience is going to be different versus coming in with a bad, sour attitude. And I've got some things written down about attitude I want to share with you guys. A great attitude is attractive. It will improve the interactions you have with other people. Nobody really wants to spend a lot of time around a person who's pissed off, grumpy, and complaining that thinks the world is against them and it's never going to get any better. People want to be around others that are positive, that pick them up. Be one of those people. Attitude alone can take you a long ways. Sure, it's not going to do everything, but life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So when you're faced with a situation, whether it's positive or negative, your attitude at that moment really is going to dictate what happens next. But as a truck driver, try your best to have a great attitude in everything you do. When dealing with your dispatchers, with dealing with shippers and receivers, other truckers, just have a great attitude. Um, now, how do you do that? Well, having an attitude of gratitude is a good start. And be thankful for the blessings that you have. And learn to be in the habit of recognizing your blessings. There's a law called the Law of Attraction. That's a whole other video in itself. But what it basically says, you attract what you think about most. So a big key in having a great attitude is keep your thoughts on what you want or what you're working towards. Attitude is the one thing you can't blame on anyone else. Attitude is the one thing, the one thing that you are in 100% control of. Habit number two is to be on time. If you're not early, you're late, right? Well, here's the thing about time. Time is precious. There, there's a few songs that you hear, time is more precious than gold. The greatest gift you can give someone is your time because when you give your time, you're given a portion of your life that you will never get back. Time doesn't reset for anyone. But as far as the habit of being on time, I, I think part of it goes into valuing 
time. I mean, being on time is expected. Like we mentioned earlier, it shows your dependable, whether it's for shippers, receivers, for a date, for work, whatever you're going on to, you want to be on time. Uh, for us truck drivers, one of the ways to become one of your dispatcher's favorite drivers is just to do what you say you're going to do and start on time, whether it's starting your week or after your 10-hour break is up and always delivering on time, not late. And be aware of time wasters. And when you start becoming aware of time wasters, you start recognize time savers. Time is a big deal, guys, and that is habit number two. Habit number three, be prepared. You can never be too prepared, right? That's the old Boy Scout motto. Be prepared. This is a big one right here, guys. And as you go along in life, you should continue to get better and better at being prepared if you're learning from your experiences. Now, as far as all the, the tools and thing, you know, rain jackets and boots and things like that you need as a truck driver, you're gonna continue to get better at being prepared as you well, are in situations where you work prepared. That's the biggest uh, teacher right there. But it goes deeper than that. You wanna have a plan each day. You wanna have a plan for each week. Put some thought into it so you can be prepared for what's coming. Trip planning is a part of every truck driver's day, right? Especially until you learn your way around. Uh, but also for the weather ahead. One thing you don't want to be is the guy that ain't prepared. Walking into a shipper without having your pickup numbers, not knowing what empty trailer you drop, those kind of things. You're going to have to go back outside. It's going to cost you time and make you feel like a big dummy because you're not prepared. But we've all been there, truck drivers. When you're, fa you're in situations where you're not prepared, don't beat yourself up about it. Take it in. Remember that for next time so you continually get better and better at being more prepared. Uh, another big key for truck drivers is having food and water in your truck. There's numerous times where you'll be glad you did on that. You always want to be prepared with those basic essentials like food and water. Habit number four is to work a full day. Back in uh, when I was in, in sales, we talked about the law of averages and many times you need a whole day for the law of averages to do what they do. But as a truck driver, it's using that clock to the maximum. Make each day count. Have a goal for the day and don't stop till you get your goal. Sometimes it's gonna take a full day to do that. Little things and a little bit more effort add up over the course of a week. Little better weeks add up to better months. Little better months add up to better years. Be in the habit of putting a full day's efforts into your goals. Habit number five is to work your territory correctly. What this really means is work efficient and don't do a lot of wasted effort. Do things right. What I've got down here is work efficiently, constantly improve. That means good trip planning, the best routes to where, where you're going. Learn the times of customers. Certain customers shut down at a certain time. You need to be there before that time or that's going to mess things up. But try to be efficient in everything you do. Like your pre-trips, do them the same way each and every time. Hooking up to trailers, do that the same way each and every time. Develop routines that are efficient in everything you do. Organize your truck to make it a better working tool for yourself. Getting a 30 minute break in while you're getting loaded is an efficient thing to do. Fueling up and doing a 30 minute break at the same time and let, instead of letting them be two different stops along the day. That's efficient. And step number six, pay attention to this one. Habit, good work habit number six is to maintain a good attitude. Guys, I can promise you, Every day is not going to be perfect. I don't care how awesome your attitude is. Things are going to happen. Things are going to knock you off track. Your heart's going to get broken. You're going to get disappointed. Things are going to happen in life, okay? And you may lose your attitude. But realize this. If you lose your attitude, you're lost. You're done. Not a whole lot of good's going to happen if you've got a shitty attitude. So here's the thing to do. If you lose your attitude, get it back. 
as quickly as you can and get back on track. Um, stay cool. If you lose your attitude, you've lost. Don't make decisions while you're mad. They're usually not good decisions. You want to get your attitude back in the right frame of mind before you make any kind of meaningful decisions. One thing that will help you is if you have goals. Remember your goals. Remember the people you care about or the goals that you're working towards. That's, what you're, that's what's going to bring you out of the darkness and get your attitude back on track. Learn from things that happen and commit to it being a lesson that you will grow from. So at the end of the day, it will be a positive. As long as you don't quit, you've got a shot. Good habit number seven is to know your opportunity. Trucking is a huge industry. Having a commercial driver's license, well, it puts you in demand especially after you've got some experience under your belt. But trucking is a large industry and possibly the most important to American life. So get excited about what you're doing for America right there. CDL is valuable and CDL experience is even more valuable. Decide on the direction you want to grow within this industry. Sure, I mean, you know, there's lots of different companies to go with. There's different types of freight. There's, you know, military stuff that is supposed to pay awesome and, and heavy haul. But it's not just that. Like, myself, truck driving led me into a position that I've always dreamed about actually being a media director and getting paid to make video content. That came from trucking. Even if something happened and health-wise got, you know, diabetes or something couldn't drive a truck anymore, the experience you're gaining out here on the road with multiple shippers and all the situations you're in will make you more valuable, say, if you worked in a shipping and receiving department. The possibilities of where a man or woman could go from just having a CDL being their starting point, it's limitless. A training, a company driver, owner op, have a trucking company, media director in the shipping department, management in a trucking company, work as a dispatcher in breakdown, uh, containers, local, heavy haul, team drive with the spouse and just bank crazy money. Make it work for you. But just have the mindset that tomorrow can bring a brighter day and be a bigger situation that you're currently in but know your opportunity and then we're coming to the last one step number eight of the eight good working habits just to do a quick little review we got have a great attitude be on time be prepared, work a full day, work your territory correctly, maintain a good attitude, know your opportunity, and number eight is to take control. If it's to be, it is up to me. Quit blaming other people for where you're at. You've got to take personal responsibility and that's got to be a habit. You do not want to have the habit of blaming everybody under the sun except for you. Remember, life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. Take control of your life, people. Tell your dispatch what you're going to do in a great attitude sort of way, but don't be a sheep. Be a lion and take control of the situation. Accept responsibility for where you're at. Turn negatives into positives. Thinking will not overcome fear, but action will. But that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I hope you guys got something out of the eight good work habits for truck drivers, but you can apply it to anything because I'll let you in on a little secret. I wasn't a truck driver when I learned these. Hey, but I love all you guys. I look forward to your comments down below. If we have 200 thumbs up on this video, and you guys want me to revisit these subjects, maybe do a live broadcast and we can all talk about the eight good working habits, you guys know I will. But I'll see you in the next video. But until then, everybody, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody going through a